I've been worrying about something. And then something is, uh, how do you thin down a handle on an axe when the handle's already mounted? Get your tools right up close to the axe head. When I got washing my guy, uh, Paul Sellers last night, doing some stuff with a workbench and clamps and I come up with a brainstorm for my little uh, fly-by-night outfit here so uh, I'm kind of partly part way into it right now but uh, we'll just take a look how's that look Give me a second, I'll get the camera where I want it. And there's the grinder, there's my bench. I already sharpened a bit. Excuse me, I'll walk across in front of you here. Get my professional style counter brush out. Alright, that might be useful. That might be useful. Let me get back up there where it belongs. Alright. Second, I'll rearrange you. Just stand over here and get out of my way. That's better. I'll tighten this up without cutting myself with a chisel. about this workbench I completely bugger it up all I gotta do is buy another 2x10 
six foot long. Let's get the splinters off of there. That's easy to deal with. Got me some new tubes the other day. Somebody had uh, come with some package in the mail, or I don't know what they are. Maybe they're bottom off of a clothes hanger. Protect your file. You would be aggravating, ain't it? Tested that handle. Am I for more noise? Yeah, top clear and you find the bottom. All right, and you take your back it up. Take a clamp, take a clamp apart. Oh, they're tricky. Got a little thingy on the end there. Huh.
was just close the pot there, but it's been burnt before. That's why I didn't know that thing was on there, because I already took it off this one about 30 years ago. That's the part that bother me is that these three hands. Alright, you got it? Need to level it. Tighten them both. Think about that. That's about uh, what that amounts to. And a couple other ideas. It actually go that way a little bit. I'm not going to cut this because it's something special. A person could could put a put a notch in a block and do that. You know what I'm saying? So it's you got to go over the top. 
the head can't get away from you like that. But I do it lengthwise, notch it, and then uh, maybe put a screw in one end just to swing down, hang out of the way, screw in the other end to secure it or something else. Still in the planning stages. I got company coming in. It'll take care now. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Adios. Here we are with part two. I went ahead and put a couple of safety guards in here. As a point of that blade here. That's over there too. Maybe I'll move that one out. Wait a minute. It's sitting in there tight yet. There we go. That's better. Anyway, it's uh, keep running your hands into it. And again, we can uh, put her in. And either guesstimate or uh, and right there is pretty even. Pretty. No, it's a half inch. That's a little less. So you back this one off. Take that one down. Then do both of them. And then you can pull the board off the wall with it. This is maple, made from firewood a couple of winters ago. I split it down with a hatchet and did some saw on that and then uh, I just now trimmed it up with a couple of, couple of planes. I like this little guy here for really finishing it up. And now I can thin it down and not worry about stuffing my hand into them corners of those of the axe head. Or if I happen to come out after dinner and forget where my gloves are, I can go and work on it and not worry about it all that much. Kind of a safety deal. I think you can use it for a jumping board. Or a swimming pool, pretty tight. So I can use this. You guys, have seen this already? This is my uh, vintage round spoke shape. Of course, this is not so vintage, but. I think it's pretty old too. And that's uh, about the end of it. Don't have nothing, anything else. And that's about the end of it. I don't have anything else. Y'all take care. Like and subscribe. See ya. Leveling it up.